differentiability and continuity. We consider the relationship between the differentiability and continuity. We will see that if a function is differentiable at a point, it must be continuous. And there, however, a function that is continuous at a point needs uh, not to be differentiable at that point. In fact, a function may be continuous at a point and fail to be differentiable at the point for one or one of several reasons. Differentiability implies continuity. This means if a function is differentiable, then the then the function will also continuous. Let f of x be a function. Uh, and a be a uh, point on its domain a be the points on its domain if f of x is differentiable at a then the function f of uh, then the function f is continuous at a uh, so we will prove this uh, uh, if a given function is a differentiable at a, a given point uh, in its domain and then the function will also be continuous at that point and so uh, if f of x is differentiable at a then f prime of a exists this mean uh, the derivative of the function at a point a exists and we know that the definition of the derivative is this f prime of a which is equal to limit as x approaches to a f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a we want to show that f of x is continuous at a point a uh, by showing that the limit as x approaches to a f of x which is equal to f of a. Thus, uh, uh, we add and subtract minus uh, f of a in this uh, expression and then we uh, simplify this one. Again, we multiply uh, and divide x minus a uh, with this expression and uh, uh, here we have a, a new expression f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a into x minus a plus f of a and we know that this is the definition of the derivative we apply limit on uh, uh, in the uh, on this expression and we get this expression and this is equal to f prime of a and this is equal to f prime of a and we know that this is the definition of the derivative and, uh, uh, and when we apply the limit on this function on this expression x minus a this will be 0 and uh, here we have uh, expression f dash of a into 0 will be 0 and we get this one so as the limit x approaches to a f of x that is equal to f of a means the as uh, when we apply the limit on f of x which is equal to the value of the function at a and this means the given function is continuous at a okay uh, so and therefore and therefore since f of a is a defined and limit of the function as x approaches to a which is equal to the value of the function at a we conclude that f is continuous at a proved differentiability implies continuity we, uh, continuity implies differentiability we have proved differentiability implies continuity now now we will see uh, if a function is continuous, uh, uh, is it uh, differentiable at that point or not? So we have example f of x is equal to mod of x. This function, this function is continuous everywhere, and determine uh, whether it is differentiable. So we know that this function is continuous everywhere uh, for any value of x. This function is continuous. There is no discontinuity. Okay, but at x is equal to zero, the derivative of the function is undefined. And we prove that this function and the uh, at x is equal to zero, the derivative of the function is undefined. The derivative of the function is not exist at x is equal to zero. Undefined at x is equal to zero. So uh, we we know the definition of the derivative that is. Uh, uh, f prime of x is equal to as limit h is approaches to as x as h approaches to uh, 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h we apply this uh, definition on a given function and we simplify this and we know that the mod of x is equal to uh, 
under root of x square and we apply this on uh, this expression and we get this one and simplify this expression by multiplying and dividing by this one and after uh, simplification uh, we get this expression and that is uh, equal to a derivative of the function that is x divided by mod of x uh, so uh, this is the derivative of uh, f of x and that is x divided by mod of x and if we put x is equal to 0 and the function the derivative of the function will be undefined 0 by 0 this is the undefined form okay and now we also improve this one by another by choosing other definition of our derivative okay and or and we apply this one and this definition of the function f prime of a uh, as limit x approaches to a f of x divided minus f of, f of a we applies this definition on a given function and uh, we get this expression as x approaches to 0 mod of x divided by x and when apply we apply left limit and right limit on this function uh, we get a different value that is minus 1 and positive 1 this is the left hand limit and this is the right hand limit okay uh, right hand limit both are not equal limit as x approaches to negative 0 of f of x is not equal to the limit as x approaches to positive 0 of f of x okay so this mean the slope of the tangent line will different for uh, for x less than 1 and for x greater than uh, x less than 0 and for x greater than 0 here we can see the slope of the tangent line this is the slope we know that and uh, the derivative of the function uh, is equal to uh, the slope of the tangent line slope of the tangent line and now uh, uh, fail to differentiable at 0 this function f, uh, um, f of x is equal to mod of x is fail to differentiable at x is equal to 0 because the limit of the slope because the limit of the slope of the tangent line on the left and right were not same uh, were not same visually this result uh, in a sharp corner on the graph of the function at 0 here we can see that at x is equal to 0 we have a sharp corner uh, from this we conclude that uh, in order to differentiable at a point a a function must be smooth at that point there should not be any sharp corner uh, in the function okay uh, so uh, we see uh, this with the help of uh, in graph uh, we will see at x is equal to 0 the function I have not the function is not a differentiable so here we can see that uh, the function has a, a derivative uh, when x is less than 0 when x is uh, equal to 0 the function will be undefined at that point the derivative of the function will be undefined uh, here we can see that at that point the function have a no derivative that is undefined and when x is greater than 0 the function has a derivative so uh, now we have a MATLAB code to plot a function and this is the uh, MATLAB code to plot a function that we have um, discussed let us consider some additional situation in which a function in which a continuous function fail to be differentiable example consider the function f of x that is equal to uh, cube root of x and uh, we apply this definition on a given function and we find the derivative of the function at a point okay uh, so we apply the uh, def uh, definition of this function uh, uh, on this function at x is equal to 0 and we get this expression and uh, after simplification we simplify this function by multiplying and dividing by this one and uh, we get this uh, expression as the limit x approaches to 0 1 divided by uh, cube root of x square and that is equal to uh, positive infinity due to of x square uh, so at x is equal to 0 the function uh, function is not a differentiable uh, the derivative this mean and the slope of the uh, tangent line at x is equal to 0 that is infinite okay uh, so uh, when the function have a 
tangent line with the uh, infinite slope at that point the function is not a differentiable uh, so this is the function this is the graph of the given function that is continuous everywhere uh, f of x is equal to uh, cube root of x and at x is equal to 0 the function has a, a tangent line with a slope infinite slope this mean at that point the function is not differentiable so uh, the function is continuous at 0 but not a differentiable at uh, 0 this mean if a function is a continuous uh, it does not imply the differentiability it uh, doesn't mean if a function is continuous uh, it will also be differentiable at that point okay at x is equal to 0 the function has a, a tangent line with the infinite slope and we can see uh, if the uh, x is increasing the slope of the uh, tangent tangent line will also decrease at x is equal to 0 the function has an infinite slope but as x is increasing the slope of the tangent line is also decreasing let us consider another example and uh, we will see uh, is uh, continuity implies the differentiability or not and so we have example consider the function that is f of x is equal to this one if x is not equal to 0 and 0 if x is equal to 0 also has a derivative that exhibits interesting behavior at 0 uh, so solution this is the definition of the derivative we apply the definition of the derivative on this function and uh, uh, we will see that if a function is a differentiate if a function is continuous then uh, is it differentiable or not so we apply uh, apply this definition uh, on this function and we have a is equal to 0 and we get this expression and um, the derivative of the function at a 0 okay uh, so limit as x approaches to 0 sine of 1 divided by x as we will see the behavior of the function uh, when uh, as x approaches to 0 so this limit does not exist essentially because uh, when we substitute x is equal to 0 we will get infinity so uh, essentially because the slope of the secant line continuously changes the direction as they approaches to 0 so we see in the behavior of the tangent line behavior of the slope of the secant line as uh, the limit is approaches to 0 with the help of a graph and uh, this is the uh, graph of a given function this is uh, of this function f of x and uh, we uh, we will uh, plot a secant line okay between two points on and we will see the uh, slope of this secant line will changes continuously will positive and negative uh, as x approaches to zero so this is the graph of a given function and uh, now we see the secant line and this is the secant line and uh, we see the slope of the secant line changes continuously as x approaches to 0 as x approaches to 0 the slope of the secant line is continuously changes as so this mean uh, the function is uh, not differentiable at 0 three conditions for when a function does not have a derivative if a function is not continuous it cannot be differentiable since every differentiable function must be continuous however if a function is continuous it may still fail to be differentiable uh, f of x is equal to mod of x fail to differentiable at uh, x is equal to 0 because the limit of the uh, slope of a tangent line on the left and right were not same we have uh, already proved with the help of example uh, when we uh, find the derivative of this function and when we uh, execute limit uh, we get uh, as when we uh, as x approaches to negative 0 the slope the uh, slope of the tangent line was negative and when x approaches to uh, positive 0 the slope of the tangent line was positive and with and uh, uh, for x less than 0 
for x greater than 0 and uh, because of this one and uh, the function is not differentiable at x is equal to 0 uh, so visually this uh, visually this resulted in a sharp corner on the graph of the function at x is equal to 0 we can see that this is the graph of a uh, uh, this function and uh, this is the graph of this function and x is equal to 0 we have a sharp corner and uh, in uh, for and this we have to conclude that uh, in order to differentiable at a point a function must be smooth at a point now uh, we have a next uh, condition for uh, f of x is equal to uh, cube root of x here this is not a square a function is failed to differentiable at a point uh, where uh, there is a, a vertical line we have also already proved this with the help of example when a function have a, a tangent line and with a vertical slope with a, a infinite slope or a vertical tangent line uh, at that point the function is not a differentiable and at x is equal to 0 this function has a, a vertical tangent line with infinite slope so at this so at this point the function is not a differentiable and this is the second condition and now we have a third condition and this is the function a function may fail to differentiable at a point more complicated as well we have also uh, proved uh, this one with the help of example and we also prove a uh, plot of um, graph of this function when the function continuously changes slope of the secant line uh, uh, this means the function is also not differentiable at that point and this is the graph of this function and we can see that the slope of the secant line continuously changes as x approaches to 0 so as we can see that as x approaches to 0 the slope of the secant line is not differentiable